I'd say that if you took everything Alpha M recommends in terms of uh, calorie surplus numbers, protein numbers, and weight gain numbers, and just cut them all in half, that would be a much better approach for almost everyone if you want to do your lean bulk the right way. What's up guys, Sean Alawani, realscienceathletics.com. And today I'm gonna to be responding to an Alpha M video entitled, Get Bigger Without Getting Fat, Lean Bulking Tricks. So this guy's basically like um, a self-improvement coach of sorts. He also gives out fitness information. He's got over 6 million subscribers, so obviously a lot of people watch his videos. Personally, I find him very difficult to watch. He's always screaming at the camera and has this really forced over the top persona. You gotta eat big to get big boys. And today I'm gonna teach you the secrets to get jacked. And a lot of his videos are basically just like infomercials where he spends half the time giving advice and then the other half uh, pitching all kinds of different products. I'm gonna turn around over here. I'm gonna put it in this machine right over there. Set, Set it. it. And it. So I personally find his channel pretty damn cringy, but that's just my own opinion and it's beside the point. Anyway, let's go over the video and critique the actual information piece by piece uh, where he shares his advice on proper lean bulking. Some of the advice is okay, some of it is shit. So let's break this down piece by piece and go over which parts are okay and which parts are shit. But the reality is that dirty bulking does not work. So he actually starts the video off on a good note by saying that dirty bulking is a bad idea, um, which I completely agree with. And it's something I've talked about many times before in my previous videos. Problem with dirty bulking is that the calories that you're consuming is way above where you need them to be in order to safely and reasonably pack on muscle. And the result is you're gonna get sloppy fat. Yes, if you eat in too large of a calorie surplus, um, which is basically what dirty bulking boils down to, and you're just stuffing your face all day with high calorie food and weight gain shakes, trying to gain mass as quickly as possible. What's that stuff? Weight gain 4,000? It's helping me bulk up. Um, like this idiot here did back in 2009, getting up to 230 pounds at five foot nine, and then spending the next five months having to cut back down. If you do that, you are going to end up fat. It's really that simple. Um, there's a limit on how many calories your body can use for lean muscle growth per day. And once you go beyond that, all of those extra calories are just gonna go straight to your fat stores. You will look worse, you will feel worse. I got titties. I got, I got juicy titties. And then you're gonna to have to spend a bunch of time dieting all that fat off later on. So that's good advice to start. And he then goes on to recommend that you start by taking pictures of yourself and weighing yourself so that you can track your progress, which I also recommend doing. I also, if possible, would love for you to have your body fat checked. You can do that if you really want. Um, I don't think it's necessary for most people. Um, the problem is that most methods for measuring body fat have a pretty large margin for error. And if you're not getting perfectly consistent readings, then it just might throw you off overall. Um, I think if you're following a proper clean bulking approach, um, you're measuring your body weight, you're taking pictures, uh, measuring your waistline, that's usually enough to successfully put on muscle while keeping body fat gains minimized. And you don't need to worry about specifically measuring your exact body fat percentage. The second step is to figure out how many calories you need right now, and that is your basal metabolic rate. That's not quite accurate. Uh, basal metabolic rate is actually the number of calories that your body requires at complete rest uh, for natural processes like breathing and digestion um, and circulation. If you wanna know your actual calorie maintenance level, then you have to calculate your basal metabolic rate and then use an activity multiplier on top of that to account for all the extra activity that you're doing throughout the day. Um, he then goes on to recommend a calorie calculator. This calculator is amazing. It's gonna tell you how many calories you need at rest, but then it's also gonna help you figure out how many calories you need in addition to pack on massive sexy muscle. So this is fine if you have absolutely no idea what your calorie maintenance level is, uh, but just keep in mind that all online calculators are only rough estimates because there are just so many different factors that are gonna influence exactly how many calories you're burning per day, and an online calculator can't take all of those factors into account. So you can use a calculator to get an approximate approximate starting point, but you're then gonna need to go ahead and apply it in the real world, see how your weight changes, and then adjust your calories from there. Um, and if you need some help with this, then you can head over to seannell.com slash custom once this video is over. Um, the link is up here and down below in the description box. Just fill out the form on that page and I'll personally configure your individual calorie needs based on your body stats and goals as accurately as I can. And I'll also give you a sample meal plan based on that calorie amount, as well as a complete step-by-step -step training program to go along with it.
So along with the calculator, he tells you to go to his recommended supplement page um, that he obviously earns affiliate commissions off of. There, you're gonna find my list for the top 10 best supplements to build a better body. And I'll come back to that at the end of the video to explain um, which options he lists out are actually worthwhile and which ones are a waste of money. For the next four weeks, you're consuming an additional 500 calories per day, not a thousand, 500. So Alpha M recommends finding your maintenance calories and then adding 500 calories on top of that in order to lean bulk. Now, this is not terribly bad advice. You know, if he recommended 750 or 1,000 calories above maintenance, then that would be uh, much worse. But a 500 calorie surplus is still beyond what your body can actually utilize for muscle growth uh, in a single day. Now, I recognize that all calorie calculations are just estimations, and most people out there are not going to be tracking their calories right down to the percent amount, but if you did truly eat 500 calories above maintenance every single day, you would end up gaining more fat than you truly need to. Um, I would say that that's roughly twice as many calories as you actually require, and that for most people with average genetics, um, around 200 to 300 calories per day is really all you need in order to fully maximize muscle growth. It really doesn't take nearly as many calories to build muscle effectively um, as most people think. And if you yourself have done a successful lean bulk in the past, then let me know down below in the comments what nutrition approach you personally used, um, or if you're just getting started and you have any other questions about this, then feel free to ask them below as well, and I'll be happy to help out. Um, and if you are enjoying this video so far, then don't forget to hit that like button below and let me know. I also want these calories to be primarily protein. Primarily protein. You can have some fats and carbs, but primarily protein. The truth is that you really don't need that much protein in order to gain muscle at your maximum potential, and protein needs should be based on your body weight rather than being a percentage of your total calories. Um, in most cases, like I've said many times before, about 0.8 grams per pound of body weight, ideally spread out over three or more feedings, that should be enough to fully elevate protein synthesis for the day. Um, if you want to go higher just out of preference, then that's fine. You know, one gram per pound of body weight, 1.2 grams, that's fine. But 0.8 grams should be enough for maximum gains, unless you're vegan, in which case you might want to go slightly higher just to be fully safe. Uh, but maybe this is the actual reason why he recommends consuming so much protein. Quick, delicious, easy 200 extra calories, gentlemen, is a scoop of Signature Series whey protein with a cup of almond milk or skim milk. Another super quick and easy option that I love is protein bars. The bodybuilding.com protein bars, the Signature Series, are the most delicious. At night before I go to bed, I will actually take a casein protein shake. Now, Alpha M is obviously affiliated with bodybuilding.com, and there's nothing wrong with any of that. Um, you know, whey, casein, protein bars. If you want to include any of those in your diet for convenience, sake, or if you just like the taste, then go right ahead. Um, I use whey protein personally for my breakfast smoothie and um, in my oatmeal as a snack in the evening. Um, I've done that for many, many years. And Real Science Athletics, which is my own sports nutrition company, um, we are working on developing our own protein powder right now. However, also keep in mind that protein powders are not a must, and if you prefer to just hit your daily protein needs through solid foods only, then that's totally okay too. Um, there's nothing magical about protein powders, and it really just comes down to personal preference. Now, if you've gained less than five pounds in those four weeks, I want you to take it to the next step. I want you to increase your daily calories by an additional 500 for the next four weeks. So now, you're up 1,000 from where you started. So in the beginning of the video, he advises a against dirty bulking, but then the actual guidelines that he gives in the video are essentially what you would be doing if you were dirty bulking, or at least let's say uh, semi-dirty bulking. Um, you should not be gaining five pounds per month if your goal is to gain muscle while staying relatively lean at the same time. That's too much too quickly. Um, your body can only build so much muscle in a given week or month. Uh, muscle growth is a slow and gradual process, and if you were to continue at that pace um, and you were putting on you know, 15 pounds in three months or 20 pounds in four months, you're going to get fat. Trust me, I have been there. So just like I recommended before, that instead of eating in a 500 calorie surplus like Alpha M recommends, um, that you should go with a 200 to 300 calorie surplus, I'd also say that instead of aiming for five pounds of weight gain per month, that should be more like two pounds per month and three pounds at the most. And then if your weight starts plateauing, add in another maybe 100 to 200 calories or so, not another 500. 
order to get bigger without getting fat, gentlemen, it's about systematically and methodically increasing your caloric intake and monitoring your progress. So I agree with that completely, and he has the right idea here, but the actual method that he's recommending to achieve that is still not going to be optimal. Um, it's not off the charts terrible. You know, there are people out there giving much worse advice. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Thomas DeLauer. But again, I'd say that if you took everything Alpha M recommends in terms of uh, calorie surplus numbers, protein numbers, and weight gain numbers, and just cut them all in half, that would be a much better approach for almost everyone if you want to do your lean bulk the right way. And then as I mentioned before, um, I'm just gonna do a quick summary of his supplement recommendations. Because like I said, his channel is pretty much just a big infomercial and he seems to promote pretty much anything and everything he can at every opportunity. So let's quickly go over this to hopefully save you some money if you are an Alpha M fan. So first is whey protein, um, that's fine as I mentioned before. Not mandatory, but it can be optionally used if you like. Second is a multivitamin. Uh, this brand here isn't terrible, but it's still not great. Um, it uses zinc oxide, which is a really cheap, unabsorbable form of zinc. Um, there's no magnesium, which is an important mineral if you are training hard and consistently. Um, I'd recommend checking out MicroCore, which is our Real Science Athletics Multi. Um, it was tailored specifically for hard training lifters using the optimal forms of each vitamin and mineral in their full clinical doses, and I'll link that up at the top of the screen uh, and down below in the description box. And you can use coupon code YouTube15 to save 15% off your first order uh, if you are interested in that. Then he's got L-carnitine, uh, which is mostly useless for body composition purposes. Um, it's usually used for fat loss, but the research there is pretty unconvincing. Uh, creatine monohydrate, that's totally fine. Uh, creatine is an effective supplement that I also recommend. CLA, almost certainly a complete waste of money. I did a detailed video on CLA that you can look up if you want. It's promoted for fat loss, but it probably won't do anything noticeable for you, and it's definitely one that I would suggest leaving on the shelf. Uh, protein bars and casein, no real problem there. Same deal as the whey protein. Uh, then there's vitamin C. I don't see any real reason to take that unless you're doing it for some very specific need. So I would say that that's optional. Fish oil is a great supplement if you don't eat a lot of fatty fish throughout the week. Uh, but the brand that he recommends here provides fish oil in the ethyl ester form, which is not as absorbable. Um, instead, you want to get your fish oil in the natural triglyceride form, uh, which is what we offer over at Real Science Athletics with our O3 Prime product. And I'll also link that down below. BCAAs, most of you know my stance on that. Uh, the research is very clear that if you're eating enough total protein for the day, they are essentially worthless. Uh, B complex, if you're already taking a multivitamin, then you don't need extra B vitamins. And lastly, MCT oil, another overhyped but unnecessary fat loss supplement. So I would say uh, four of the 12 supplements on this list are reasonable options and the rest are not gonna benefit you. So in summary, uh, this Alpha M video is not the worst muscle building advice I've ever seen, but there are still a lot of problems with it as I discussed. Uh, he recommends against dirty bulking, but then he gives guidelines that are essentially for a dirty bulk. And again, if you wanna learn how to do a proper lean bulk and gain muscle as efficiently as possible while keeping the fat off, then make sure to sign up for a free customized program over at seannell.com slash custom. Hope this video was helpful, guys. If it was, then make sure to hit that like button and subscribe in order to stay up to date on future videos. Let me know in the comments what videos you wanna see next. Uh, you can follow me over on Instagram for more daily tips at seannalawani, and I will see you in the next video.